Good morning, Stimson. This is Mr. Smith reminding us that our shared purpose here is to respect one another, be safe, and be responsible. Congratulations to the Simpson girls track team for the victory against West Hollow 106-3, making this an undefeated season. Outstanding performances by all. In the 55 meter hurdles, Olivia Nichols placed first and Samantha Dinsdale got second and Lauren Dinsdale got third. In the 55 meter dash, Jay Tintera placed in first and Nicole Afanasio placed in third. In the 100 meter, Samantha Dinsdale placed in first, Paige Albert placed in second, and Jayla St. Croix and Georgette Afanasio placed in third. In the 400 meter, Allison Paladins placed in first, Taylor Cassidy in second, and Riley Nichols in third. In the 800 meter, Riley McKinley placed in first, Brooke Tavera placed in second, and Eva Castellanos Hernandez in third. In the 200 meter, Jordan Nichols placed in first, Grace Davis in second, and Sydney Albert in third. In the long jump, Sam Castano Ramirez placed in first, Grace Davis is in second, and Kiki Taylor in third. In the triple jump, Kiki Taylor placed in first, Jackie Busket in second, and Riley McKinley in third. In the high jump, Olivia Nutson placed in first, and Laura Nutson and Angie Gonzalez tied for second. In shot put, Antonia Fiorelisi placed in first, Emily Austin in second, and Brianna Tamborello in third. In discus, Olivia Nichols placed in first, Jackie Busket in second, and Zahara Amor in third. Our 4x1 relay of Jordan Nichols, Kiki Taylor, Jay Tintera, and Grace Davis came in first. Our medley relay of Paige Albert, Jayla St. Croix, Olivia Nichols, and Laura Dinsel came in first. Great job, girls. We are so proud of you, and thank you for a wonderful season. Simpson baseball team defeated Finley by a score of 9-2. Excellent pitching performances by Andrew Buckshaw and Jaden Groves. The offense was led with timely hits by Andrew Blair, Daniel Ryan, and Riley Leverina. Outstanding job by all of the players on the team. Hello Simpson. June is Pride Month. Over the next few weeks, we'll be having a fundraiser to help raise money for the LGBTQ plus community. We will be selling bracelets during homeroom from now until June 18. Individual bracelets will be sold for $2 each. Purchasing two or more bracelets will change the price to $1 each. All proceeds will go to the Suffolk County Chapter of Pride for You, a local organization that is serving, the, is serving LGBTQ plus young people in our area. Show your support and pride for Stimson's diverse community. Simpson, this is Mr. Kellerman with a few words of wisdom. In her book, The Dance of Anger, author Harriet Lerner makes this statement, anger is a signal and one worth listening to. In other words, anger, anger is like a red flag going up. It's staying, stop, look, and listen. What's underneath the anger? Are you hurt, frustrated, discouraged? 
Are you feeling like you're not good enough, smart enough, or good looking enough? Next time you get angry, share your anger with someone you trust. A parent, a counselor, a faith leader, or a best friend. Perhaps the anger is trying to tell you something important about yourself. So listen to your anger and try to get to the cause of it. Remember, you can get past your anger in a healthy and constructive way. For something to think about, this is Mr. Kellerman. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Hi, I'm Juliana and I'm here with your Wellness Wake Up Call. In building strong bones, calcium does not act alone. It is a part of a bone building team of nutrients. Other members of the team are vitamin D, protein, and magnesium. July 2nd, Walt Women Dance Tryouts. Uh, um. Now, are you excited for summer break? Yes. Do you have any plans in particular for this upcoming summer? Um, I plan to celebrate my birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Now, are you excited for next year? Yes. Now, is there anything in particular about next year you're excited about? Um, I'm excited to try out for some sports. 